Bloopers, it's Dallin, and in this video I'm going to be switching out the hard drive in an Acer Aspire, you see this here, uh, 5742 series notebook computer. Um, this particular laptop was dropped on a hard floor when it was on, and ever since then it's been having trouble after it's been booting up. Um, after it gets, when it gets to a certain point after you log in, it just kind of freezes and the hard drive just kind of spins and it doesn't do much. Uh, and any attempts to do a hard disk scan through Windows always seem to fail at the same particular spot during the scan. So that leads me to believe it's a hard drive issue. I hope it's, that's the problem. It's kind of process of elimination. So I stopped by Fry's Electronics on the way home from work today picked up a new hard drive and I'm going to be putting it in. So I thought I would share that with you. So this is my workbench area here. Here we have the laptop. So first thing I'm going to do is flip it over and I'm going to Unplug the power cable and I'm going to remove the battery. And set that aside here. Okay, so I've got my handy dandy screwdriver set here. And uh, I'm going to remove the panel. So, you can see the RAM there, wireless card, motherboard battery, and hard drive. It's secured to the chassis by one screw only, but it also has some brackets on it. So, just slides ever so slightly that way and pull it out. You can see there are brackets on either side that you need to actually put on the new hard drive. So, I'm going to get my new hard drive out. This is the hard drive I purchased, the Seagate Momentous 500 gigabyte SATA drive, uh, 7200 RPM and 16 megabytes of cache. So let's open this guy up. shiny static deterrent packaging. All right, so there's the new guy. So I'm just going to remove these brackets one at a time and make sure I put them on exactly the same way on the new hard drive. Oh yeah, okay, and it looks like there's like some clear plastic here. 
Um, it's probably just something that allows you to easily, you know, pull it out when you need to remove it. So it looks like it's actually attached to these brackets here. So I'll go ahead and remove them both at the same time. Okay, so once we have the brackets on the new hard drive, we just slide it back in, just like the old one. And we secure it to the chassis. All right, that guy's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do now, before I put the bracket back on, um, I'm actually going to pop the battery back in and see what happens when I try and boot her up. That way, if something doesn't quite work right, I can still get to the hard drive without having to remove the panel all over again. Here's a hard drive spinning. It's a good sign. The indicator light is on. No bootable device. Insert boot disk and press any key. Okay, well, now I need to load an operating system. So I will make another video about that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, geekloop at gmx.com. And we'll catch you later.